Want to tie a needle nail knot? The CNF needle nail knot tool is a must have. I'm going to show you how it works. Dude, that's a big brown bro. All right, we're going to talk about one of the coolest knot tools uh, that we've used, <clears throat> very handy, and this is the CNF 3 in 1 nail knot tool. And so what it is, is it has, we're going to use it to tie a needle nail knot. Uh, this old dirty piece of fly line does not come included. This one is so that Cheech doesn't lose it at our line winding desk. But it has a nail knot tool, which is basically just this pipe tube thinger. And then it has basically a very nice tapered needle. And it does have an eye of the needle in the very tip so that you can pull smaller diameter uh, tippet or uh, leader through the end, which we'll get to in a minute. But this is great. The needle nail knot is one of the most smooth connections from your fly line to your leader that you can get. Uh, why is a smooth connection important as opposed to say those horrible loop to loop connections? Because the needle nail knot creates uh, the least amount of material to uh, to catch on your guides as your lines going through so anyway we'll start with the needle part of it so we can set the tube aside for now and then the needle section which is going to be used with some fly line and you can do this on anything most anything that's a braid core this does not work so well with mono core so if you're hoping to get your uh, intermediate clear camo lines with a needle nail knot, you're going to have to stick to a regular old nail knot. So, what you do is you take this needle and you just poke the very end of the fly line. And you go in, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch. So, not too far. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll poke the needle through the end or through the outside of that uh, fly line once we get to that point of where we want it and I just use my thumbnail like that and poke that through like so and then I'm still going to use my thumbnail to drive that into the taper see how that gets tapered right there um, <clears throat> and then I'll do that a couple times you can kind of twist that jam that back up in there and this is going to make so that the, uh, the, the leader can get inside of that and poke through without getting caught. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then very quickly, and you got to do this before it closes, you spin that around and you're going to stick that going the other direction like so and pull this up onto the taper. And now I'm going to leave that for a second. I'm going to let that kind of marinate because this will eventually uh, stretch enough that we can get our, our leader in there. So I'm in this example, I'm going to use some 20 pound monofilament. So that could be your uh, butt section or the end of your leader, whatever. And now if you were doing this with a full tapered leader that goes into say like three, four X, five X, I would spin this back around and then you would insert the leader, the tippet at that point, into that end and then you just pull this out and then pull the entire leader back through resulting in the butt section being right here. But I'm going to do this with uh, just a regular butt section because we build most of our leaders uh, with still water and streamers. So to prep the leader material regardless of what kind you use, most important is to make sure that you've got your uh, monofilament cut at the tip at a very steep angle so like that and that will make sure that that can slide into our uh, fly line that we created a hole there and I like to wet that down with some saliva now I'm gonna grab my my line here and I've got my mono ready to roll I'm gonna pull this out and then immediately stick that into the end. OK, 
Okay, now this if if this again were a longer leader, we'd pull that all the way back through. And then this is going to be just the butt section that we're going to tie. Now from here, it's just a nail knot. Um, you could use any tool that you like. A lot of people are not uh, madly in love with just the plain tube style. Uh, it works great though. So we're going to use that, but you could use the tie fast tool. You could use the loon ergo nail knot tool. Uh, it's the same concept that you'd have tying any nail knot. So what we need to do here is leave plenty of, of tag end for us to work with. And we're just going to wrap this around going back up the tube. So what I'll do is I'll hold, I like to hold this so that the fly line and that leader on the same side of the tube. And then you need to pinch this. It's creating this little loop and it's going to go back down around. The first one's the hardest. The first loop's the hardest. So we've got a loop that I've pinched. I, I can't show it to you. You're going to have to just believe me there's a loop there. So now I'm just going to make subsequent wraps. And then you need to pinch after each wrap so that they don't come flying off of there. And then once you get three or four wraps, once you have three or four wraps, you can slide those further down into where you're holding them. So now I've got five, six, seven wraps somewhere in there. And I've got, now you can see the remnants of the loop there. And what I'll do is I like to slide this up a little ways, get that closer to the end as that one wrap comes off. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to readjust my fingers and then we insert the tag end of that into the tube. And this is why you need a tube. Now I'm pinching this super tight right now and I'm going to now keep that tension on there, pinching it tight and pull the tube out. So right now under my thumb and forefinger, I've got all the wraps. They're one after another and now they're smushed down so that they don't go anywhere. And now what you do is you pull the tag in there. You can see that is going away there and that's going away. You do this a couple, three times on each end on each tag end and you don't want to do it too tight yet because we need to slide our knot wraps back up over where that insertion point is here on my fly line. Now I've got this pulled tight enough that we can show you what's going on. So this is again not a Picasso yet. Well maybe it is a Picasso. It's not a Rembrandt. I know nothing about art. But what we can now do is I can release that pressure and my fingers can take a rest from pinching so hard. And what I'll do is I'll just snug this up a tiny, tiny bit. And that just, again, keeps those wraps from going crazy. And now I'm going to keep a hold of my knot wraps. And now I'm going to pull so that these are covering this insertion point right on top of it. leaving the very tip open. Okay, once I've got the wraps pulled to that point, I'm gonna take some hemostats and I have three pull points to tighten my nail knot. This is the first one, which is the tag end to the terminal end. And I give that a little bit of tightening, not a ton, but enough to start to snug those. And then the other pull point is with the fly line. And you have to be careful, you don't wanna do this too hard just yet but that snugs the wraps a little bit further down. And then the third pull point, which again, you gotta be careful, you don't wanna do this uh, too hard at first, is pulling the terminal end and pulling the fly line. And that will ensure that both of those are snug and that those loops stay in their place. And then I just repeat that process because I've gotten them a little more snug. I can now tighten that one a little bit more a little bit more pressure, a little bit more pressure going in that direction to snug those wraps down, and then a little bit more pressure the third direction, which is the one that matters. That's the one that's really pulling those loops down. And now I've got a nice, 
clean, tight grouping of wraps around that uh, final knot. And now I'm going to grab some clippers, nippers. one end to clip there because now as the beauty of a needle nail knot is that my mono is going up inside the fly line wrapped around itself all that tension is going back around that insertion point to cover it up and reinforce it and now i've got one of the cleanest knots that there is